don't know how Animal Home takes in uh, stray animals or unwanted animals from the dog wardens in the Essex area. Our capacity generally is around 70 dogs, 25 cats uh, and a handful of smalls and we are always oversubscribed. From when I started here I took the attitude that there are so many jobs that need doing that uh, if I could take one on and make a good job of it then I would. And so I've more or less ended up doing a variety of things such as grass cutting, looking after the computers, uh, writing a newsletter and then working with the animals. As volunteer coordinator for Danahar, my role is to ensure that A, we have enough volunteers to support the home, but B, the volunteers that are here are trained and, and I enjoy talking to people and meeting new people. I love the animals, so you put those two together, you get the coordination role. Volunteers are crucial to the centre. They play a key role in the day-to-day -day activities. The dog walking element of, of, of the animals, cleaning the animals, socialising with the animals. All we ask volunteers to, to commit to is one day a month. That can be in two hour slots, a half day, a full day, whatever suits their needs. As part of the volunteer uh, induction process, we'll assess your experience needs with animals such as dogs to ensure that you, you know how to put harnesses on, you know the right walking process, you know how to uh, enter a kennel and leave a kennel. These are all the training that you'll get as part of your induction process. First of all, with a dog you have to gain their trust and then you have to gain their respect and then you can really start working with them and getting them to respond to you. And so I think that's the reward, is when you've actually turned a dog around and it's, you've bonded with it, basically. Yeah. Fostering uh, is really just taking an animal home and looking after it as though it were your own. People say, how can you give them up when you've looked after them for so long? But uh, you can, because you know there's another one waiting to be taken care of. So you're more than happy to see them go to a good home. I think um, a common concern for volunteers is the first day of walking in and you've got, you don't know the ropes. Um, but with our volunteer coordinator now, they get a very good sort of initiation course um, and that is helpful and there's always someone to ask. My volunteer role for the RSPCA is mainly uh, shop collections, i.e. where we stand outside and we, we don't shake the box at people, we only stand there and smile and ask for donations and we give out leaflets. Um, we do get quite a lot of revenue from recycled ink cartridges and jewellery, just junk jewellery. And um, I've sourced where we can um, recycle those and you know we get revenue from that. So that's one thing I do while I'm here. I cuddle the cats and you know that's part of sort of getting the animals used to being handled, especially if they've come in slightly feral. Uh, the more they can be handled, the more chance of them getting a good home. This is rewarding and this is doing something, you know, for nothing. You're doing it as a volunteer. So uh, the, the idea is that you get benefit from it in your heart and it's rewarding. So it's worth, it's worth being here, you know. Outside of Danahar, I work for a bank. Uh, hustle and bustle of working in a city, long hours, means it doesn't have very much time to do anything else. But what I focus on and prioritise is time at Danahar. For me, this is a great time to a, give something back to the community, but oh, it's a great solace for me to think about my life when I'm helping the animals. Danahar couldn't survive without volunteers. So if you have a passion for animals and feel you have enough time to give, then go on our website, sign up, and I'll be glad to meet you at the door.